Hi, TK. This is Miss Sylvia again, saying hello from my house. Some of you have met my younger daughter, Nina, because she came to school one day with me. Say hi. Hola. Okay, or hola, which means hi. And this is my middle daughter, <laughs> Alma. She's in sixth grade, so she's a big kid. All right. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, well, today we are going to do an art project, and my two very wonderful helpers are going to do the same art project with me. We are going to make a cat like El Gato. But this cat that we're going to make is going to be smaller. Okay, so you need lots of empty paper, toilet paper rolls. You need at least two. All right, so there's two for you, whichever ones you want. Okay, and then, right, you need the toilet paper rolls. You need scissors. You need some a little cup with water, maybe like a marker. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie, by the way, but it could just be any marker. Paint brushes. You need uh, paint. You, any kind of paint really will be fine, but I have this kind of paint, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and then you need to decide what color do you want your cat to be. So, hmm, what color are cats usually? Black. They can be black. Okay, what other color can they be? Um, gray. They could be gray, right? They could be brown, like my gato. My gato is so beautiful. And he is brown, <laughs> but he has spots too. So, you know, cats can have spots. They can be solid colors. They can be lots of colors. All right, so you guys choose what color you want your cat to be. All right, you're going to make that, okay? Um, I'm going to make mine red. How about that? And then you get a paintbrush. Mommy, mom, is this black? Yeah, that's black. Mm -hmm. And then you put the paintbrush in the paint. And you're going to paint one of your toilet paper rolls. So now our toilet paper rolls are all painted and they are drying. So now we're gonna take our other toilet paper roll and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it all the way. In cut half. it all the way, kind of in half, I guess. But then we're going to unfold it. Yes, like that, see? And try to flatten it out. Try to flatten, 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 flatten it out. All right, I'm putting mine on top of this paper bag I so I don't make a mess. Oh, so you make it go the other way to flatten it out. All right, there you go. Okay, and now I'm going to use this like silly yo-yo. It's a plastic yo-yo that actually belongs to Nina. And I'm going to use that to trace a circle on this piece of cardboard. And Nina is probably going to want to use it too, but Alma's going to try to do the circle without tracing anything. She's just going to do it freehand. All right, so let me trace my circle on the cardboard here. All right, and now Nina, you can take that and you can trace your circle. Yay! Yay! All right, and Alma's cutting her own circle by herself without any kind of assistance. And you can see my circle is done, it's traced. And now we're all gonna take our scissors and cut the circle out. All right, so now I have my circle, it's all cut out. And I'm gonna put a little more paint here in my paint thing. You have to use your color paint, Nina. So get a little more black, I guess. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint the circle. All right, so now you take this big toilet paper roll and you decide what color you want your cat's belly to be, right? So it could be any color, but it should be lighter than the color that you picked. So I'm gonna use white. What color are you going to use? Black. 
You're going to use black? This is a white card. Oh, okay. All right. That's I can't fine. use black. What? Mm. You want to use white like me? Um, I want to do... Or yellow. Purple. For the, that's not going to show on black. I don't think. True. All right. So now you get the paint, the other type of paint, right? And you get one side of your big toilet paper roll, and you're going to draw kind of like an oval shape. Okay, oh. Yeah, kind of like it. This is what happened. Yeah, you probably need more white paint. It's mixed up. Yeah, that's okay. It's going to turn gray. And that's what it should look like. Mom, I don't want to put it in the And let it line. dry. All right, so next, you're going to use the same cardboard that you already oh. used. And you're going to just freehand draw two triangles. Small or big? You know. You know I'm not going to tie small. Relatively small. Not too small so you cannot cut them because you're going to have to cut them out. This small? No, that's too small. I know, I'm just joking. Okay. So like I'm going to cut them out. Okay. Um, okay, but you should use this one because this is the one that you used black with. Okay, so now that you cut out your little ears. Wait, like Yes, because you're going to use now the same color that you used for your body, in my case, red, and I'm going to paint the ears. I'm painting the ears, and I'm painting the ears, and I'm painting the ears. Oops. It's okay if you paint both sides. You don't have to, though. No. All right, now that your ears are drying over here, get your little circle again mm. and see if you have a smaller brush like with a smaller head thinner like this one and you're gonna just try to draw a face on the circle just do your little do your best use black like black paint it's probably the best way to go and then you're gonna draw two little dots for the eyes and then another little dot for the nose and then you know, I just do like almost like a two little, you know. How about a nose? Yeah, the little dot for the nose and then little curvy lines for the mouth. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that your little face, see I even added the little whiskers for the cat, right? That's getting dry, right? So what you want to do is you want to take the tape now. Right, and you're very carefully going to put some tape on the back of your little face. Go ahead. And if you need help from, you know, your mom or your dad, that's always a good thing to ask for help. And then you take your toilet paper roll and you put the little head on the top. And you, you know, just make sure that it sticks and stays. And then you let it be. And then you take your little ears. <laughs> right? And you do the same thing. Just a little bit of tape. Make sure you can, uh, you know, just use one side. Maybe the side that's going to be the back. And that's where you're going to put your tape. And you attach it to the head on the top because that's where the cat ears go okay so last my last ear is gonna go on top of the head and there you have the finished product of another gato right and you can add paws if you want it might take a little longer to do that um, but you can use the same cardboard and just like draw little paw shapes and paint them and then tape the them tape. onto the little cat. Cat. Gato. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's the, we, our we, project for today. Oh, you made a, a tail. Oh, very nice. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Ah.